Hi, my name is Mr. Richardson, and I would like to welcome you to Sir James Dunn Academy. The best part of this school is that we don't have just one class involved in 21st century learning. Instead, all of our classes are committed to education technology and the 21st century learning experience. Our school consists of grades 7 to 12, and although we only have 150 students, our teachers are always looking for ways to expand students' thinking through education technology. Mrs. Pearson, our grades 11 and 12 math teacher, uses state-of-the-art technology such as tracker software. Students are now able to study motion patterns by using real-life applications. She also uses graphing programs such as 3D Autograph Innovation and Winplot Graphing. Students are able to access 3D and 2D graphs as well as create them on the smart board for the rest of the class to see. Mr. Head, our grade 8 science teacher, uses Explore Learning to conduct and complete virtual science experiments. Ms. Lang's French class uses apps on their handheld devices to find the proper pronunciation for French terminology. Mr. Corey is one of the leaders of 21st century learning in the province of New Brunswick. He has brought on project-based learning across our school. In fact, we Skype across the nation to Saskatchewan regarding 21st century learning and technology education. Our students have used technology to become aware of global issues. In 2009, Mr. Corey's students became aware of the HIV AIDS crisis in Malawi, Africa. Instead of sitting back from a distance and watching the issue, they decided to take action. By hosting a rock and roll bike-a-thon called the Rock and Ride, students have been able to raise over $20,000 within the last two years for this cause. This event was streamed live for the world to see. Through technology, the students became aware of this global issue, and through technology, they made a difference. Within the past two years, our school has built a professional sound studio. This gives students the opportunity to produce their own music through audio engineering in a studio setting. This provides students with an unparalleled opportunity to create music through cross-curricular activities. Many students use their music to escape the stresses from their personal life. We can wake up in the morning and be like, wait, we can go to a studio and make music and do things that we actually like that will help us through school better academically and outside of school. I like for once you actually look forward to coming to school instead of having to be like, oh, I gotta wake up for nothing. You can wake up and be like, I get to make music today, you know what I mean? It's perfect and I think everybody should have that opportunity because some people won't finish school if they don't have that chance. For some, it's their emotional release. For others, it's their reason to stay in school. Students are engaged in their learning as they understand that it is both practical and relevant in today's society. And I also think that 21st century learning is a, is a positive thing because um, the way of the future is definitely technology. I mean, the more we use technology, the more we're getting used to how the future is going to turn out. Um, so I think it's definitely a good thing because uh, the students are learning how to problem solve so when they get older and they're in the, the real world, they can live their life and they can deal with anything that comes at them. Many of our teachers, like Mr. Corey, have experienced a paradigm shift in their educational philosophy. I didn't even want a laptop, let alone a smart board or anything like that. But what I wasn't recognizing was the fact that students' lives are now intertwined with the technology. 21st century skills are, they're a different skill set than what we've used before, uh, what we've needed before. In 1980.